You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. Yeah! Listen up, partners. This is Good, Bad, Ugly on World Improv Network. Good evening, everyone. I am Alex. My name is Asa. And my name is Chris. And we are your astute wind counselors to get you through any problems that you might be having or any daily grind issues that you're currently facing. So let's get right to it. Our first winner here is, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Minel from South Africa. She writes, Dear Win, any idea how I can make money posting things on the Internet? Uh, Well, let's go right to it. Chris, what do you think? How should Minel make money posting things on the Internet? Uh, well, considering that you are from Africa, I would say uh, real estate. Start selling some houses that aren't yours. Mm. Yeah, say that you're some kind of prince. You got some great property. Oh, land grab to start yeah, taking stuff. Land grab. That's not yours. Like Mugabe. And, yep, yep. And you know you can uh, you can make some money out of that. Well, that's a good idea. What do you think, Ace? Uh, well, yeah, I think uh, real real estate's a pretty big thing. Uh, if you're going to post, just you know, if you're just sitting at your computer posting things. Uh, maybe there's a camera on your, on your, uh, on your computer oh, and camera? maybe you could do one of those like live feed, oh. you know, puppet show, puppet or, show. Yeah, yeah. um, but like some kind of live webcam something, you know, I'm really not familiar with that stuff, but puppet show is like the first thing that comes to mind. Which would make sense, Ace, cause you are the master of puppets. Uh, I, well, I'm, I'm not the master, uh, Vladimir Putin is, but, uh, yeah, I is. would consider myself a puppet. Can you believe it? He was on Talking Points with Shabazz Davis, and he was talking about how he was the Messiah. And Shabazz, who's a yeah. pretty astute interviewer, you know, a lot of yeah. years of, his, of, of uh, journalism skills and experience, he actually bought into it. And I, you know what? Maybe people are giving me a hard shake. Maybe he's really not that, that bad of a guy. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, hey, everyone's terrorist is somebody else's freedom fighter. Here, here. Hey, yeah. Uh, well, you know, Manel, here's what I would say. Um, You want to make money on the Internet? Well, okay. Maybe what you ought to do, the best way to make money is to sell children. I would uh, round up, instead of land grabbing like uh, Chris was saying, round up all the children that are running around in the village or somewhere in South Africa that you might be living. I'm not sure where specifically. But then you can sell them on the Internet. The organs, you know, you can get like $60,000 for a liver, about 45000 for a heart. You know, that's a lot of money. And I don't know what kind of money your goals are, but you can get started there. And uh, you have a lot of resources to work with. So maybe take that in consideration. Good luck, Manel. Yep. Thank you, Manel. And uh, our next winner here is Layla from Moscow. Well, okay, we got a Moscow thing going on today. Uh, She says, Dear Wynn, do you guys think that Russian President Vladimir Putin had anything to do with the murder of Boris Nentsov? Wow. Well, we just kind of touched on that kind of prophetically. Um, What do you think, Ace? Um. When you said he was the Messiah, or people were claiming that he might be the Messiah, right? I, uh, you know, I got an email from the uh, Department of uh, Internal Affairs mm-hmm. of of Russia, and uh, it was personally written to me saying, "Asa, don't tell anybody that Vladimir Putin shot this guy because he didn't." So, uh, oh. because it's a government official, you know, document, right. I'm. I'm Inclined to say well, that's the truth. Well, let me see. Hold on. You can show it to me over here. Oh, I see. That's pretty good. Co- wow. I didn't know you got a direct uh, communication with Edward Snowden. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I did some volunteer work over there. Oh, you did? Okay. Nice. Uh, what kind of stuff were you doing? Uh, it was like a litter litter control, picking up trash. Oh. Just kind of a civil cleanup act. The whole green thing that you're into. Yeah. Okay. Chris. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, I'm gonna have to disagree. Uh, you ca- I, I, I'm uh, one of those six sense guys. Mm-hmm. Like, listen to your gut. And every time I, I look on BuzzFeed and I see Vladimir Putin's name, I, my left arm goes numb and I start sweating. Wow. And I think that's because he's a bad guy. Oh, yeah. Do you get any perspiration on your eyebrows or any kind of heavy breathing as well? Yeah, and I smell blood. That's clearly has to be what it is. That's though. how I know it's a bad person. If you if you make me feel like that. You're not okay in my book. Wow. In that case, I don't even think I have an answer for you. I think there's the proof, Layla. There you go, winner. I think that Chris hit it right on the head that Vladimir Putin probably had something to do with this, regardless of what Edward Snowden uh, sent in the email to Asa. All right. We got time for one more. We have Jake from Austin, Texas. He writes, Dear Win, the weather down here is getting cold, and I'm not, I'm not used to it. How do you guys in Colorado go about dealing with it? Well, Jake, we don't. It's just part of existing, okay? Quit being a little... 
wimp, or as uh, Vladimir Putin says about Americans that were just weak, uh, just deal with it. It's that simple. You know, put on some more clothes, maybe wear a poncho, a parka. Um, you know, maybe not even go outside and burn your carpet to stay warm, but just deal with it. It's not that big of a deal. What do you think, Ace? Uh, I deal with the cold by uh, bringing a, a, a portable furnace with me. Like like those pellet furnaces where you throw, like, wood pellets in there that you can get, like, at Home Depot and stuff? Y- yeah, and I have it set up on four rolly wheels, kind of like a suitcase. Okay. All right, and then you just take it everywhere you go? Yeah, and I also uh, have a fire extinguisher in case it you know gets out of control. But yeah. Because it's cold outside, usually isn't an issue. Right, right, right. Or if you happen to bump into the, like a, a guy that's you know selling tea leaves on the corner, on or a gasoline, or gasoline, something, yeah. something like that. Yeah, because that's gonna be pretty explosive. What do you think, Chris? Uh, mine's actually pretty systematic. I set every church in the neighborhood on fire because what a lot of people don't know is that churches are geographically located oh. to where if all of them were on fire, you've created a natural natural heater for your neighborhood and also you started the apocalypse you know or armageddon which was isis was what, what they want you know, exactly yeah so it's just a win 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 if you're atheist oh and no pun intended winner that that might be the best answer actually is to listen to chris again here god chris is on to something today but we have one more little piece of advice to get you through the rest of the week and that is known as horoscope corner love fortune status let us do your astrological chart horoscope corner on World Improv Network. Hello, winner listeners. This is Vladimir Putin. Whatever your sign, I will end you if you do not subscribe to Win Radio on YouTube or podcast in iTunes Store or Twitter feed. Do it. Vladimir Putin out. Thanks for listening to Win on KZKO. Don't forget to interact with the cast by sending your suggestions for each segment throughout the week by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, Twitter at World Improv Net, or the Win KZKO blog. See you next week. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time, only on KZKO.